Hello, it's Darren McStay here from Improve Your Voice, aka Vocabilities.com. Look, the whole world is in this pandemic right now and everyone's very scared about getting this coronavirus. And what I wanted to do is actually share an exercise with you that's going to help better your breathing system and some of the habits you may have developed. Everyone's sitting indoors right now and everyone's probably at their computers and everyone's crunched over. M many of you may be doing that for your work anyway. And I wanted to give you something that's gonna help with your posture and help open up your breathing system so it's better able to combat this virus. And actually, since this is something that's attacking the respiratory system, I wanted to give you something that can just give you the edge to strengthen and open your breathing system so it's better able to fight off any disease. This is a short exercise that I've developed from techniques I've learned as a singer, actor and voice coach. And it combines two schools of thought. One is Qigong and the other is Pilates. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, we need to understand a little bit about our breathing system. And what I want you to concentrate on first is the way in which you're breathing. Many people who tell you to breathe say not to breathe into a chest and that's a very good idea. However, people that have had singing training um, may pass on the information that you should breathe into your belly. Now that's not necessarily bad advice, however there is better advice and I'd like to share that with you now. So the way that breathing works is we have a muscle called the diaphragm which moves around and is attached to underneath our ribs and goes all the way through our body and it moves our vital organs down and out of the way to allow the lungs to expand and draw in air. However, it's not the only muscle at play here. We have muscles in our back and we have the intercostals which are the muscles that uh, are in between our ribs. Now these are also very important because they need to be flexible enough to be able to lift the ribs up and out of the way. So it's not just the diaphragm, it's also the ribs. And if we have tight backs, we have tight muscles down our sides, then they don't function as well. So then the diaphragm can't move out of the way as well. Therefore, we don't really take as much air as we should or could. So the first point I'd like to make is to imagine that your entire torso is like a balloon, okay? The top of the balloon uh, being the opening would be your neck and the bottom would be down somewhere in your pelvis. If you can imagine how a balloon expands, it expands in all directions at the same time, usually from the base down and the last bit that fills up is at the top. So what we wanna do is kind of imagine that. However, this particular balloon, our balloon inside our torso, fills up from the back down first. Okay, so at the bottom of our backs, the base of our spine, is something called the, the sacral area. This is five vertebrae just above the coccyx. And this is where I want you to imagine you're sending the air first. So just above your tailbone, as you breathe in, imagine the air flows down there and then starts filling up the balloon from the base back out. And I want you to imagine going back because I want you to start opening up the ribs and the back muscles a little bit and giving them some attention because we often push our bellies out when we're thinking we're breathing into our bellies and what happens is we end up arching our spine by trying to force our belly out and this just pulls the muscles of the back in and it hinders our intercostals from being able to function as they should. So if we tuck our pelvis under and start breathing down into the back the belly will move because the vital organs are being moved out of the way. However, we're not overdoing it and we're not over protruding and we're not pushing. We need to have this happen naturally, but this is an exercise. So what we'll do is we'll breathe in. Imagine that air hits down the base of our spine and moves out to the sides and then up. And by the time we're full, the air is ready to leave. Now, even though we're directing the air here, we also want to imagine that this balloon is expanding. The tricky part is though, when you breathe out, I also want you to imagine that the balloon continues to expand. So we breathe in, balloon expands. Breathe out, the balloon expands further. <sighs> breathe in, balloon keeps expanding. Breathe out, balloon expands further. Remember, no pushing, this is just in your mind and it's to give you an idea of a safer, more comfortable way of breathing that's gonna help open up these muscles and support the idea of a healthy breathing system so you can take more air and give your lungs a fighting chance of warding off any disease. Now, if you feel tight in your sides or your back, one thing you can do is to reach your arms forward and tuck your pelvis under, bring your belly in, breathe out, and try and stretch 
if you can, these muscles in the middle of your back. Try and reach forward. Bring your chin into your chest. Reach, reach forward. And then lift your chest up, push it forward. And you can do that a few times just to get moving. Now, if you uh, want to do a bit extra, you can move your ribs to the side, forward, back, all different directions. But keep them moving. You can do this as much as you like, but continue to use this breathing technique where you imagine it hitting the base of your spine, the balloon expanding as you breathe in, balloon expands further as you breathe out. And this should not only help you with your breathing system, it should also give you something to do in case you get bored. Focus on your breath, give yourself a fighting chance against this virus. Now I'm a voice coach and breath is so fundamental not only to our health but also the use of our voice. And I created a voice course which is eight weeks long. But however, the first week is completely on breath. And because of this whole situation, I'm gonna let you have that whole first week absolutely free. I know most of you aren't interested in doing voice work, so don't worry about it. However, you can have the first week. I don't want any money for it. All you gotta do is sign up on my website at vocabilities.com. There'll be a pop-up, a contact form. Put your name in there, and over the next week, I'll send you a bunch of exercises that you can do at home in your own time to help breathe up this breathing system and how you can use breath to your advantage. I hope that's useful for you. Keep breathing, stay healthy. My name's Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice, and until the next time, Look after your voice.